There is a man here, you've come here, you want to hear what God says about your marriage. Come, let us pray together. Who is your wife? We separated for three years. Why did you separate for three years? Just uh, uh, the friends that it repeat me take my wife. Your friend did what? He took my wife. Your friend took your wife? Yes. Uh, why? I, I don't know. And they have six children together. And the six grandchildren together. So your wife left three years ago and your friend took your wife? Yes. So you want your wife to come back? Yeah, uh, please, because uh, the children are suffering now. She I left you. What. She left you with the children. Yeah, the children are actually is at home. A two is there, but uh, one now is at home. The small one. He came back to me. How old is the small one? Uh, six years. Can I ask a question? Yes. Is your friend better than you? No, that's not better. Because it's not just as you, it's a person that you don't take care of. Even, even to work, you don't work. Mm. Just uh, it's, I, it's okay. okay. I, I wish we young people, we can learn from this man. Yes. Can I tell you what happened to your wife? Tell me. <laughs> Is that thing that you advise me? This is how you treat your wife. Don't, don't allow all these things there. She's doing, no, this is, this is how you treat your wife. You must oppress her. And when you go home, you oppress your wife. The very same person who's advising you to oppress your wife comes and rescues your wife on the other side. This is what happened to my brother. Am I lying, my brother? No, you're not lying. You see what I mean? Your wife must never wear mini skirts. Hmm? She must wear long clothes. You must beat her. She must respect you. When you get out, your friend is the one who says, he's a foolish man. Uh -uh. How can he beat a beautiful woman like you? Uh, me, I will take care of you. I will treat you like a queen. Is there any woman who doesn't want to be treated like a queen? And now his best, the one who was advising him, took over his wife. I wish we, we can learn as African people that we don't discuss our marital issues. We don't take advice from somebody. That's why I always say, how can someone who's not married advise you? Let me pray for you. In Jesus' name. I got married yesterday here. This is what we young people are doing. All of a sudden, I now have a YouTube channel of advising you how you must behave in your marriage. You have not seen the flames of marriage, marriage yet. You, you have not slept. So I wish we can learn. See that your friend who tells you, your husband must give you your card and the PIN number. He's making you sure. She's the one who will turn around and say, ah, that one does not even respect. That one. My dear me, I will cook for you and I will wash your feet. When I was I shut if I took you out up. Pumlamato. Bonaba disha sketelo south up a mato. When I wish I fight you. Pumlamato. God must help us. Hallelujah. The story of my brother has touched me. God, God must really help us. God must really help us. As a generation, because we are perishing because we are ignorant. Let us stop confiding in our... What is it that your friend will tell you that you don't know? Hmm? What is it that your friend will tell you that you don't know? 
What is it that Peggy will advise Murungwa? Are you not the same age? You are this. Ah, what is it that she will tell you that is amazing? Nothing. Nothing.